Well, everybody, would you look at this? Sonic 3 is happening and a Knuckles TV series. Idris Elba will be returning to voice Knuckles in a newly announced spin-off TV series dedicated to the character for Power Mountain Plus in 2023. Guys, I cannot wait for 2023 when the Knuckles TV show comes out. It was at this moment he knew he f***ed up. Wait a second, it's 2024? Oh my, oh my goodness. Wait, where is the time gone? everybody so knuckles the new paramount plus tv show just got a brand new trailer we got a little plot synopsis we got a lot to uh we got a lot to discuss today so we're gonna get into the news but before we do that please subscribe to the channel with all notifications for daily sonic videos we do everything sonic on this channel every single day i'll give you a second and let's get into the crazy news and the reaction. All right, so here we go. Sonic movie. Wow, this is, first of all, this is crazy. They dumped Shadow Sonic Generations. They dumped Movie 3 news. And they dumped this all in the same week. I have a feeling we're not going to get a lot of Sonic news for a while because, man, this is too much. Too much, in, too much in such a short period of time. So it says, only one hero hits this hard. Watch the trailer for Knuckles, a six-episode streaming event coming to Paramount Plus on April 26th. So, a release date is officially confirmed. We can expect this series in about two months. I'm excited. We'll have some Sonic stuff to talk about. So, let's get into the trailer. All right, here we go. You're an alien. He's an alien? Wait, what is he? Recently saved the world with your friends. Yes. What do you like to do for fun? Yo, nice Easter egg. Already we got an Easter egg. We got the gold ring right there, obviously from the classic Sonic games. Love look, Paramount needs to include some more game elements just to make people like me happy. You know what I'm saying? Just like the Mario movie did. Vengeance. Hey! I was thinking more like reading or or, or yoga. No, if you go try I'm definitely uh, gonna get a copyright claim for this. Um Already it looks really good so far. So far you can tell it looks like movie quality. Buddy. Isn't it great to finally Sonic is out? in the show! Let's go! I am an echidna warrior. Oh, he just took that dude out. I only remain on Earth because I made a vow to you and the fox. So I made my He's eating Doritos, bro. Product placement, of course. Nope, we are not turning our living room into some kind of glass. Look at Sonic. Wait, he looks different. Movie Sonic looks a little different right there. Hold up. Nope, we are not turning our living room into some Look at that. We got Tails and Movie Sonic. Yo, he looks it looks like a different model. I I think they made Sonic look a little different. He almost looks a little bit older. Some kind of gladiator fighting pit. What is Ozzy doing? The dog, the dog. Challenging his greatest enemy. <laughs> Who is that guy? <laughs> This is not I gotta say, Movie Sonic and Tails look pretty good right there. I think I think maybe they're aging up the characters. Maybe they're making them look more like their game models. Place of battle. So I will begin my quest. Come OVA here. hat. Most people think I'm a joke. I do not make jokes. I make warriors. <clears throat> oh, let's go get them. Six Knuckles. episode event. Without his little friends, he's vulnerable. Who's this guy? Is this is it that guy? Um. Uh... Man, who's that guy? Crazy Carl? He's the key to all oh, my newest creation. Maybe not. You worked for Robotnik. Oh, this is an Eggman guy. Wait, this is actually kind of cool. Bring me knuckles. Is that Kid Cuddy? Yo, Kid Cuddy! Oh, Sorry, this is kind of cool. Lane is reserved. You think you can take my power? Hey, he's spin dashing! Oh! Do I look like I need your power? <laughs> Oh, the line. He did the line. Kid Cuddy, my guy. What are you talking about? Of course we need his power. It's the whole reason we're here. Ah! OVA hat. Oh, what is this? The mind. Hey, this I is kind of sick, bro. Yo, he's gliding too. Hey, my boy is gliding. Wait, did you guys see that? Hold up. I made a promise. He's gliding. Let's go. You guys see it right here. To protect Sonic. Idris Elba. I am ready. You got fire fist? Yo, that's that's crazy. Oh snap. Someone's about to get slapped. Hey. Oh, Knuckles. Yo, that is that looks really good. I think there's a little bit more, but that first of all, just right off the bat, that looks really good. Sonic's model looks really good. Knuckles looks really good. I was worried it's gonna it was gonna look like Sonic drone home. You know what I'm saying? Like a little a little worse the models, but it looks like the models. Improved. 
I think today is gonna be a beautiful day. Hmm? Oh! Oh! Knuckles, help me! You gonna rescue him? No. This is, yeah, th this image right here, I mean, just looking at Knuckles in the middle of a neighborhood, drinking coffee, like, this is, this is crazy. Honestly, it looks pretty good so far, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I, I do like, I think some of the action's gonna be there. He must learn to rescue himself. My boy's drinking some coffee. Don't drink too much. Oh my goodness. Well, I have Paramount Plus, so we will be watching. Wow, that's crazy. One of the things I like to see right here, we have an OVA reference, which is really cool. So I think they're going to be borrowing more source material from the games, which is honestly incredible. And it looks like we have a new villain right here. He apparently worked for Eggman or something like that. So this guy right here is going to be... This is basically what would happen if Jim Carrey wasn't in the new movie. We'd have this guy playing as Eggman. And kind of a similar plot point to the first Sonic movie and, you know, just in general, the quill right here. Knuckles quill will power up whatever device they're going to use to try to defend feed him and if you look right here it looks like knuckles is channeling his inner shadow the hedgehog by driving a bike but again has his ova hat which is cool but yeah if you look right here i think movie sonic does look a little bit different is it me or does his quills look a little bit longer it looks a little bit more more detailed or something like that but it's cool to see that we have this scene right here i feel like this almost references that scene from sonic frontiers with knuckles and sonic sitting together i mean for, that's the first thing that i noticed so one thing i like about this show from what i see so far is knuckles is still going to be a primary focus obviously with movie three coming soon i think knuckles you know he might take a little bit of a backseat obviously to shadow people are going to be really more intrigued probably for shadow but it's going to be nice to see that knuckles is still getting some of that revival of his character he's still going to be somewhat of a primary focus of the movie universe because he was really good in the second movie i feel like this was the start of his redemption for his character and it's nice to see that they're not totally abandoning him and maybe he's still gonna have a pretty prominent role in sonic movie 3 i don't want to see them throw away knuckles after completely reviving his character you know what i mean we also got a poster right here this just looks pretty sick it says he just hits different knuckles a six episode streaming event comes to paramount plus on april 26 so we have ourselves this poster looks actually raw like i'm surprised they made it look so good for a paramount plus tv show so yeah i mean i I do think that the plot actually does seem pretty intriguing. At first, I was like, oh, it's going to be Knuckles and Wade play Buddy Cop or something like that. One thing I like about the show is we're actually going to get Sonic and Tails in it, at least for at some portions of it. Obviously, Ben Schwartz lent some voice lines. So that's going to be good. They're not going to completely abandon Sonic and Tails and just have it be Buddy Cop side plot with no relevance to movie three, maybe. I mean, clearly, it's going to be like a little prequel, but the hype is definitely here, man. We're going to get six episodes. I think they're going to be like 40 minutes long or something like that. And we're going to get an expansion or a continuation of the Sonic movie universe. We're gonna get to see the aftermath of what life is like for Sonic and friends following the defeat of Dr. Robotnik. I actually also like Wade too. I think he's like a pretty funny side character. I know some people are gonna be like, eh, this isn't gonna be too appealing to them. But it looks like we're going to get at least some interesting plot points because some robotic henchman type guy is going to be featured, which I like that. I like that there's going to be a continuation of that. They probably couldn't get Jim Carrey for the show, but they were still able to get Kid Cudi, which is pretty cool. He used to be one of my favorite rappers ever. He's got Knuckles power. So there's something interesting. We got Knuckles with the fire fist. He's gliding. And there's also that giant robot at the end. So it looks like we're going to see something that's pretty cool. We're going to probably get some good action. And I'm excited for the series. So let me know what you guys think about it. That's my breakdown. That's my analysis. So we will see what happens with the new Knuckles series, but it's looking pretty solid so far, actually. Definitely surpassing my expectations so far.